Well, Tigers opening day is just a few days away, and there is so much to be excited about this season. Lots of fun giveaways, theme nights, and of course, two milestones to note, too. One of them is Miguel Cabrera. He's getting close to 3,000 hits. So many fans are looking forward to that day. And of course, later in the season, on August 6th, Lou Whitaker getting his number retired, the number one. Lots of fans obviously know him, too. He's such a Tigers legend. Both of these guys are. So those are two things to look forward to this season. We also have a lot of themed nights coming back. There's going to be Fiesta Tigres. There's going to be Star Wars nights. There's also going to be new merchandise you can find in the shops as well. A lot of new prospects, too, if you want to look for Riley Green Gear, Spencer Torkelson. It's going to be great. And, of course, a lot of new food items, too, most importantly. And I know one guy that's just as excited as I am for that food, Mr. Devin Gardner. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, I don't, I try to find other words because I don't think excited really, really, you know, exemplifies how I feel about good food. I didn't eat breakfast. I didn't eat any almonds, which I very, very much so love. And we will not be eating Cracker Jacks. It's real food. Okay, I was hoping you were coming on an empty stomach because looking around, we got a lot of options here. I haven't had a bite to eat, so I'm glad you're in the same boat. All right, we're here with Chef Mark. During the off season, you sit and come up with new ideas for new food. Is that true? Yeah, that's my job. Just making new food, testing it, and seeing what people will like. Oh, no, no, no. You don't test it, because I'll be testing <laughs> it today. Show me some of the new things that are going to be here at the park. Oh, we have a, here we have a, a nice new offerings in the uh, tap room deli. So we're going to have nice salads and a bunch of kicked up artisan style deli sandwiches. OK, I'll take seven of those. We have a Euro, a Euro nacho down in the food court. Oh, my goodness. Beer Braised Brat uh, that's on the concourse at 139 in a pretzel roll. We have the Notorious PIG, which is our smoked pork, mac and cheese, barbecue sauce on a pretzel roll. That is that's right a section up 105. my alley, Chef. <laughs> Then we have a rope, a rope Italian sausage with peppers and onions and marinara sauce. We did a Motor City chicken, which is just the pork wrapped with bacon and maple syrup. Here we go. Now here's the big one that we had fun with, is a pasty. Apple pie pasties, we have Polish pasties with pierogies and Polish sausage and kraut in them. We have a coney pasty. We have a mac and cheese and smoked brisket pasty. I can't wait. Enjoy. This first thing we're gonna eat at the exact same time. You ready? Okay. One. Here we go. Two. Why am I clearing my throat to eat? It's weird. <laughs> ready? Go. Pre cut in half by yours truly. All right. Great cutting skills there, Dev. <laughs> Sauerkraut on that. My goodness. I already knew chicken and bacon went together. That was great. Mm. You already know that. Motor City chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a little messy. All right, cool. I'm just going to do this <laughs> like this. He's, he's going for it. <laughs> Chef Mark, another coney pasty, please. <laughs> it says apple. <laughs> it's not apple. Uh, this it also is, is you know. not apple. Oh, my goodness. What is, is that pulled pork? I think this is barbecue mac and cheese. This brat right here, I, I could eat this every single day. If I had to, for all these things, I would eat this every single day. Mm. I might be going with the Reuben. Mm. That was perfect. Magnifico. Chef's kiss.